Hello, welcome to another guys, another wise guys tutoring video. And in this one, we're going to look at uh, proportions and solving for the unknown. All right, so in this first one, we've got 3 to x is equal to 15 to 20. So for this one, what we do is we start by making a fraction. So 3 over x is equal to 15 over 20. At this point, we now cross multiply. So now we've got 3 times 20 is equal to 15x. 3 times 20 is 60 equals 15x. Divide by 15, that leaves us with just the x. Divide by 15, x is equal to 4. All right, let's try another one, a little bit harder. 2 to y is equal to 12 to 66. So again, start with a fraction. 2 over y is equal to 12 over 66. Cross, multiply, cross, multiply. So 2 times 66 is equal to 12y. Bring in the calculator for that. 2 times 66 is equal to 132, which is equal to 12y. So now what we want to do is just divide by 12, divide by 12. That cancels that. And so 132 divided by the 12 gives us 11. All right, so 2 to 11 is equal to 12 to 66. All right, let's try a little bit harder one. Now we've got some decimals in play, and the question wants us to go three-figure accuracy. So first thing, make a fraction. 1.56 over n is equal to 56.2 over 31.7. We will now do our cross multiplication. 1.56 times 31.7 to 56.2 n. Bring in our calculator, 1.56 times 31.7, okay, let's move that out of our way. So 49.452 is equal to 56.2n, we'll now divide by the 56.2, divide by the 56.2, so divide 56.2. And uh, three-figure accuracy, so n is equal to 0 0.88. So 1.56 to 0 0.88 is equal to 56.2 to 31.7. All right, another one with decimals and three-figure accuracy. So first thing, let's make ourselves a fraction. So 0 0.057 or 0 0.149 is equal to t over 0 0.05. We will now cross multiply. So 0 0.149t is equal to 0 0.057 times 0 0.05. We'll now bring, well I'll just write this first part down. And now we'll bring the calculator in. 0 0.057 times 0 0.05. 0 0.00285 divide by 0 0.149 divide by 0 0.149 t is equal to and three figure accuracy so 0 0.02 okay all right let's try a fraction so we've got three quarters to 15 over 10 is equal to 1 over 8 is equal to i. Now these are decimals numbers that we can work with so we can change these to decimals. So let's just bring in the calculator and go 3 divided by 4 and this is 0 0.75 and 15 divided by 10 1.5 is equal to 1 divided by 8 0 0.125 to i. Alright, so now that we have decimals, let's put them into our fraction form. So 1.75 over 1.5 is equal to 1 point, or 0 0.125 over i. Do our cross multiplication. So 0 0.75i is equal to 1.5 times 0 0.125 
So now we'll go ahead and multiply the 1.5 times the 0 0.125. I still have 0.125 on the calculator screen, so we'll just multiply that by 1.5, and we get 0 0.1875. We'll now divide by 0 0.75, divide by 0 0.75. These will cancel out, leaving us with I. And then just take this answer and divide by 0.75, and we get, oh, we get 0 0.25. Okay. So uh, 0 0.25, what would that be as a fraction? That'd be one quarter. So 3 quarters is to 15 tenths is equal to 1 eighth to 1 quarter. Okay. Oh, no. All right, now we're going to try another hard one here. We've got uh, 3. G is to 58 to 132 is equal to 38 to 27 to H. We've got two unknowns, G and H. Now, because we have one number here, or uh, these are, okay, these, sorry, these are in the same order on both sides. So G to 58 is the same as 38 to 27. So let's just put that in a little box and that in a box. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go G over 58 is equal to 38 over 27. We'll now do our cross multiplication. So then we'll have 27G is equal to 38 times 58. Bring in our calculator. So 38 times 58 is equal to 2,204. So 27G is equal to 2,204. We'll now divide by 27. Divide by 27. So then G divide by 27. G is three figures. Okay, it says three figures again. So G is 81.6. So that's how we solve for G. Now for H, let me just get a different color marker here. For H, what we're going to do is since H is over here with the 27, put that in a box, and then the 58 would be to the 27, and the 132 would be to the H. So we'll put that in a box. So now we'll make a fraction. So 58 over 132 is equal to 27 over H. Multiply, multiply. So then we got 58H is equal to 27 times 132. Bring in the calculator. So 27 times 132. So then we've got 58H is equal to 3,564. Divide by the 58. Divide by the 58. Cancels out. Leaving us to three-figure accuracy, 61.4. So then that is our H. So when you have a three ratio and you have two unknowns what you have to do is just break it down into uh, t a two ratio. Um, and then just remember the first number is comparable to the first number after the equals, the second to the second, and the third to the third. And then just break it down into two on the right, or two on the left, and two on the right, and then work out until you get to the answer. And then when you have to do the other one, Break it down to, again, the two on the left that match the two on the right, and then work it down to your final answer. All right. This has been a presentation of the Wise Guys Tutoring videos. If you have any concerns, you can get a hold of Ron Hammerling in the Learning Assistance Center. Thank you, and have yourself a good day.